If you've ever hung out with young children, if they do something wrong, you know that their tendency is to run and hide. That's the first thing. Uh oh, I've done something wrong. I don't want anyone to know about it. And so they try to run to cover it up, to get away from the scene of the crime, so to speak. But that doesn't often always work out so well, not for them or, or not for us. Today, these readings give us two examples of how desperately we need God's healing and how much we need to turn to him. How much, first of all, he wants to heal us, but how much we need that, especially when we're in trouble and especially when we need that comfort and that consolation in our heart. In the first reading, we hear what happened to the Israelites, that they were conquered by the kingdom of Babylon. Now, why were they conquered? Because they forgot about following the Lord. They broke the commandments. They sort of did their own thing, went their own way. And as a result, they found themselves out of God's favor. They found themselves wondering, where is God? Well, God was still there, but they had rejected him. And so he said, if this is what you want, you're going to see what happens. But I'm still there. When you turn back to me, I'll still strengthen you because my love can't go away. But in the gospel, we see the other example of what happens when someone goes immediately to God, immediately to Christ, and asks for healing. This unknown leper comes to Jesus today and says, Lord, if you will it, please heal me. Now, lepers, of course, in the time of Jesus were outcasts. You weren't to be seen as a leper. You had to be outside of the community. And you certainly would have never touched a leper. Doing so would have made you unclean. And it would have made somebody unable to go to the temple to offer worship, unable to be around the other Israelites. But Jesus shows the power of God to heal. He goes to the leper and not only heals him physically, but he heals him spiritually, mentally, emotionally. He allows him to know that he has great dignity. And he proves that God goes to any length to heal us. That all we have to do is ask, Lord, will you heal me? Lord, help me. And he'll do that. In our own lives, maybe we're all lepers in a sense. Maybe not physically, but we all have wounds whether they're physical, spiritual, emotional, whether they're wounds from our family, wounds from different relationships, whatever it might be, the only person that can ever heal those is Jesus Christ. And all he says is, come to me, give me those wounds, open yourself up to me, and I'll do exactly what I did for that leper. I will heal you. As we celebrate this Mass of the Sacred Heart, this votive Mass, let's ask that we can draw closer to that heart and allow ourselves to be healed. Let's ask that the Lord can be with us to draw us more into his love, and let's pray that we too can look for God, wherever he is, each and every day.